Hi, I'm Shannon from Global Pause. Today we're going to talk about the Carlson BRX7. But instead of just doing a boring old RTK survey, what we're going to do is do stop and go kinematic on the rover and log raw data on the base. That way we can post process the whole thing afterwards. So first we're out here and we're going to set up the base and set up the base transmitting via radio. After we set it up to transmit via radio, we're going to get it to log raw data as well. Once the base is transmitting and logging raw data, we're going to set up the rover and set up the rover for RTK. And then we're going to set it up as well for stop and go kinematic. What we are doing is simulating real life scenario of just taking some points on some curb and on some pathways. But what we'll do, or what we're doing here, is removing the antenna to simulate losing an RTK fix. Once the antenna is removed, you can see here that I'm dropping RTK, and you can see that I'm also moving off course. So on the screen, I'm moving off course, but I'm still walking directly on the footpath. What we can do is, even though I'm taking shots without RTK, and without the correct position, we can post-process this later against our base data and correct our errors. What we're going to use to post-process is the Carlson Software Survey GNSS. So here we are using Carlson Survey GNSS. So what we're going to do is load the raw data. And here we can see the correction of where we lost RTK fix. So now we've downloaded our data. We're going to post process it in Survey GNSS. And look at that, there's our results. And there you have it, the Carlson BRX7 doing RTK and stop and go kinematic. Thank you, and see you later.